Weak lava spattering has developed into continuous fountaining at Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island as the vigor of the eruption has increased at the summit caldera. This U.S. Geological Survey video taken on January 11 shows how the surface activity has increased at the western vent since our last update. Low fountaining was supplying lava to an open channel that poured into the lava lake below. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to monitor the growth of the lava lake. It reported on Wednesday that the lake is 198 meters or 650 feet deep and remains stagnant over its eastern half. This aerial footage of the caldera was recorded on January 12. Favorable conditions allowed scientists to get clear views of the active fissure. A closer look reveals a spatter cone of dark, fresh lava has been created. It surrounds both the fountaining vent and its turbulent outflow channel, down to the lava lake. Aside from the increased activity at the western vent, there has been little change in the eruption overall. Seismicity remains elevated, but stable and there is no indication that additional magma is currently moving into either of Kilauea's rift zones. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain elevated at 2,500 tons per day. While it cannot be known with certainty how this eruption will evolve over time, history provides a picture of what is possible. Last week, three new chapters of the U.S. Geological Survey Professional Paper 1867 were published. One chapter examines the summit lava lake at Kilauea from 2008 to 2018, which was the longest sustained period of lava lake activity at the summit in decades. The eruption onset in March 2008 marked the first explosive activity at the summit since 1924. For the first two years, there was only sporadic lava lake activity. Then, over the next eight years, the vent grew larger and the crater evolved into one of the largest continuous lava lakes on Earth. It all culminated in the eruption on the Lower East Rift Zone in May of 2018. The dramatic event destroyed hundreds of homes miles away in Pune. The summit caldera collapsed as the lava lake drained away. Scientists estimated the volume change at over 825 million cubic meters or 1 billion cubic yards. The vertical collapse of the crater floor was more than 500 meters or 1600 feet. For the next two years, there was no active lava to be seen anywhere on the volcano until the new eruption began at the summit in December 2020. In another published chapter, scientists present a visual essay depicting views from a century of activity at Kilauea caldera starting with this engraving made from a sketch by William Ellis in 1823. A flow breaking out from a perched lava lake can be seen in this 1893 photo courtesy the Hawaii State Archives. And this photo by Thomas Jagger in 1917 shows the lava lake after the subsidence of molten lava left behind a rocky terrace. Of course, before Western contact, it was Hawaiian observers who recorded their impression of Kilauea activity in oral chants and traditions. The lava lake drained in 1924, which led to a short period of explosive activity at the summit. At the end of their visual essay, scientists concluded that while lava made occasional appearances in Halemaumau after the 1924 explosions, including a 251-day-long active lava lake in 1967, 84 years would pass before a molten lava lake would return, re-establishing long-term occupancy at the summit of Kilauea for another decade, starting in 2008. Scientists say this pattern of collapse and eruption is part of the cyclic behavior that Kilauea Volcano has shown many times over the past 200 years.